Introduction to Rayon in the Systematic Review Process. Today's workshop is intended to give you an overview to getting started with the free web application Rayon. Literature reviews are more important than ever in healthcare. With an abundance of scientific studies being published daily, clinicians and researchers rely on systematic reviews and meta-analyses to accurately aggregate and summarize past studies of differing methodologies. You can visit our Systematic Review Toolbox Guide to learn more about the systematic review process. It incorporates the best resources and materials from research universities around the globe to assist researchers through each stage of their review process. Special thanks to our intern, AJ Patil, for creating this guide. So first, I'd like to provide a brief overview of the systematic review process and how Rayan fits into that workflow. So a systematic review of scientific literature consists of three parts. So one, methodically collecting all relevant studies pertaining to the research question being reviewed. Two, critically evaluating all collected studies, data, and results. And three, summarizing the overarching trends and significant findings of the aggregate data. So in terms of Rayon, it, its use falls in between the collecting and critically evaluating stages. Rayon's a tool to help you through the title and abstract screening process of your review. Rayon is a free web application, meaning there's nothing to install on your computer, and it seeks to help you facilitate the process of screening citations you have as a result of running a search for your systematic review. So before you get started using Rayon, all collaborators need to sign up for individual accounts. And to do that, you would simply click on sign up on the uh, homepage. Once you're logged into Rayon, you're ready to create your first review. So click on new review and name it accordingly. Next, you'll want to invite your team or other collaborators to the review. A systematic review team should consist of multiple reviewers, and with Rayon, all reviewers are able to work within the same set of titles and abstracts. So to invite others to your review, click on Invite and enter the email address they use to create their Rayon account. If you are a reviewer and someone has shared their review with you, you can access it by clicking on the Collaborations Review tab. Note it's possible to blind the results of the other reviewers, but only the owner of the review can control that setting. We highly recommend the following workflow. First, run your searches in each respective database for your review. Two, export your search results from the database and import them into a citation management software such as EndNote or Zotero. Three, remove any duplicate citations as a result from searching multiple databases. And four, export the citations from the citation manager software in an RIS format. Five, import the RIS format file into Rayon and six, you can proceed with the title abstract screening. The process of exporting search results from different databases varies. So for this video, uh, we'll show you how to export from PubMed, EBSCO, and Web of Science. And we'll feature how to import them into both Zotero or EndNote. To export from PubMed, first you'll run your search. Next, you'll click on Send To, select Citation Manager, and then change the options to All Results and click on Create File. The download files should go to your computer's download folder. To export from EBSCO, you'll run your search, click on Share, and select Email a link to download export results. And you will fill in the email you want to send it to. You can fill in the subject line, and then you'll want to make sure that you select the proper format. To export from Web of Science, run your search, click on Export. You may have to click on More to view or change your export options, uh, but choose the option that matches your citation manager. So EndNote, if, EndNote Desktop, if you're using EndNote, you can do other file format for Zotero. 
Next, uh, choose the records to make sure it's the right amount that you're exporting and adjust the record content if needed. So you'll want the abstract included your, in your citation. And then uh, you can still change that option again, but press export. Now that our citation files are downloaded, we're ready to import them into um, Zotero or EndNote, but I'll demo Zotero first. So click on File, Import, click on Continue, and then next you'll select your file. So I'll import the PubMed file first, and remember it ends in NBIB. I'm accepting the default options here, and clicking on continue and the file should now be imported. And by default, the new collection name is going to match the name of that download file, the citation file. By default, the new collection name matches the name of the citation file that you uploaded, but you can right click or command click to change that. So we suggest using a naming convention that is meaningful to you. For a systematic review, you'll want to make sure you are keeping track of the number of results from each database, the number of duplicate records you remove, as well as the final amount of records you include in your review. So in the example, the citation records are organized by database, the date ran, and the original number of search results. To import citations into EndNote, make sure you're clicked into All References view. Then click on File, Import, and you'll select the file. If you're on a Mac, you'll next need to select Options and adjust the import options. So the import options need to be set to match the database that this citation file came from. So for PubMed, choose the PubMed NLM import option and then click on Import. And for EndNote, you'll want to move the imported citations into a new folder or a group right away. So I'm right-clicking into the group section to make a new group set. And next, I create a group and I'm naming it according to the database and number of results. And I'll repeat this step for my Web of Science and EBSCO citations. So once I have this group set created, I'm going to highlight everything that's in the imported references. I'm highlighting it and then I can click and drag and drop it into the new group. Once all of your citation files have been uploaded to either Zotero or EndNote, you're ready to remove duplicate records. So in Zotero, locate duplicate items at the bottom of the group list and select it. And you'll see a list of duplicate items in the middle pane and in the far right pane you can choose the citation you wish to save and you'll click on Merge. To remove duplicates in EndNote, again, make sure you are in the All References view. Click on References and then click on Duplicates, Find Duplicates. So a new window will open to show you each of the duplicate records so that you can select the record you want to keep. I like to choose the record that has the most complete or richest data. So for example, I'd keep records that have abstracts or key and or keywords over a record that does not. So once you review the records, you can click on the Keep This Record button that corresponds to whichever one you want to keep. After removing duplicates uh, from your citation managers, you're ready to export the citations from Zotero or EndNote and bring them into Rayon. So we'll do Zotero first. In Zotero, right-click or command-click on the folder that contains the citations that you want to export. Click on Export Collection and then choose the RIS format and OK. And then you'll go ahead and you'll repeat this for the other folders. So this is the process for exporting your citations out of EndNote. When you're in EndNote, you'll go to the folder that has um, all of your citation files and you're going to highlight all of the citations within that folder. Next you'll go to File, Export, and here you can choose a different name if you want to designate where you're going to save that to, but most importantly make sure that the save file type is set to text only and make sure that the output style is set to EndNote Export and make sure the box next to Export Selected References is checked. 
So once we've downloaded all of our dedupe citation files, we're ready to import them into Rayon. If you're collaborating with a team of reviewers, remember that only one of the, that only the owner of the review needs to complete this step. The results will be shared with anyone that you invited to your review. So in Rayon, what you'll do is you'll click on the name of your review. You'll click on Show. And next, you'll click on Select Files. So you can select uh, for in, in this example, we've got three different citation files, so we can select all three and click on continue. So if there are any errors in the file upload, you will see them here in the search method box. But if all goes well, it should look something like this. So you can navigate through the articles that you've just uploaded in a number of ways. Um, you can look at, uh, by, by the different uploads, you can look at the include and exclude keywords, and note that the default keywords are set up for more clinical systematic reviews by default, but you can edit those keywords to suit your research question. So you can click on add new, and then you can add in a string of, it could be a multiple keywords, so health sciences library, or it could be one term. And you can also uh, delete irrelevant keywords using the trash icon. So once you've set up your include and exclude keywords, you're ready to start screening your citation. So you can use the button shown here um, to mark your articles as include, maybe, or exclude. And so Rayon does not offer PDF capability, but um, you can rely on the labeling system here to provide annotations for your decisions or use labels to categorize the citations during your screening. So you can also note the reason for exclusion and create your own labels to assign to articles. So to do that, you would use add to input labeling that matches your review. So as all reviewers mark their decisions, the inclusion box will start to fill in as well as the minimum and maximum collaborator decision boxes. And this can be useful to make sure that nothing has been missed um, and that you can easily identify articles with mixed decisions that might require further discussion. So you can upload PDFs to Rayon, but it does not support full text screening or data abstraction. So once you've completed the title and abstract screen and identified the articles you want to include, the final step is really to bring those citations back into a citation manager. So to export, um, make sure that you are clicked into the section of citations you want to export. So um, you could go to the included section in the inclusion decision box. Next you'll click on export in the upper right and then make sure you choose the filtered option here. And then you'll also want to choose the format to export. So if you're using EndNote you'll choose EndNote and if you're using um, exporting to Zotero you'll choose BibTeX. And um, so once you click export Rayon will email you a link to access the download file. To aid in the data extraction phase, you may want to use a spreadsheet. Um, if you're using Google Sheets, Google Forms is a nice way of helping you enter data into your spreadsheets, and there's an example of a form here. So there are a number of different types of systematic review software. You can learn more um, in our guide here. And we know that the systematic review process has a lot of moving parts, and it can be very confusing. So reach out to us if you have questions or if you want to see videos for other tools. We have a link to an online guide for Rayon here, and special thanks to the librarians at McGill for letting us use their guide as a template. Thank you for watching.